Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play Old Pine by Ben Howard. Okay, so this song is number 28 on my top 60 finger picking songs to learn of all time list. If you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. It's down in the description. It will link through to the website. And there's all 60 songs there. And we're learning one song each week. So take a look at it. If you like the songs, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of these great lessons. Anyway, let's start learning this song. Okay, so if you want to get the tab for this, it's down in the description. In fact, you may already be there already, but if you're not on the website, you get the whole lot. You get the tab, you get the video lessons, and a whole load more. So um, it's much more beneficial to be watching it on there than on YouTube if you want the tab for it and the rest. But anyway, first things first, the tuning. Uh, the tuning is C, G, C, G, G, C. Okay, so tune is down to a C, down to a G, um, and then down to C, this one remains the same. Tune this one down to G, uh, and then tune this one down to C there. Hopefully my tune is all right, I've just changed the strings, so it might be a little bit wobbly. But anyway, so you've got this nice, really nice intro. So that's the first part we're going to look at, and it's not too hard. So with the right hand, you're playing D, G, B, E continuously. D, G, B, E, D, G, B, E. And I should say I've got a capo on the fifth fret. D, G, B, E. So I'm going thumb one, two, three. Now with that, you want to start with your third finger on the B string right up at the ninth fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then a first finger on the seventh fret here. So you just pick your way through. And then move that exact same, same shape down two frets. So you've gone. Okay, and then move the first finger down one fret to the fourth. And I move my third finger down two frets to the fifth fret. So four on the high E, five on the B pick right through and then move down to the 2nd fret on the high E and the 4th fret on the B. Okay, so... Okay, that's, that's the first part. And he kind of, if you listen, he's kind of sliding this high E string as he does it. Just a little bit. And so you basically, you repeat all of that again. you get to the last one don't play well you play the fourth fret on the B string still but when you get to the high E you play open so first time you play a second fret and second time it's open so you get back and this leads you into Okay, so here I'm holding down the second fret on the A string and then the fourth fret on the B string, okay? And the rest are ringing completely open. So I play, holding that down, I play A, G, B, A, and then high E, G, B, G. So A, G, B, A, E, G, B, G. And you do that twice, so slowly. And then all you have to do is take your first finger, put it on the second fret of the D string, and that's all you need, that's all you need on, and then you play A, D, G, A, high E, D, G, A. 
so you get okay A D G A high E D G D I think I may have said A the first time I'm not sure but the last one is on the D string A D G A E D G D and you do that twice so they're the main two parts of your introduction. You just need to listen to it to get the structure of it. What happens is you'll play this. Right, everything that we've done so far, you play that three times. So. That. And. Then it goes back to the beginning and you do that three times and then again you go back to this section and with this and you repeat that twice and then when you end on the you just loop that round seven bars I think and then you let it ring on for the eighth bar so your best bet there is to listen to the song and get the structure of it but they are the two parts to the intro. It's really nice stuff so far. Okay, so once you've done your intro, you're into your verse, and it goes like this. Okay, and it's just that looped round continuously. So, nice riff, really nice. So you start by playing the open E string, and then you do fourth fret on the D string, you pull off to the second fret on the D string, and then you pull off to open, so you get. And then you play the D string once more, so. Okay, a bit fiddly. Play the G string after that, and then the E, D, G. So really slowly. Sorry. Okay, and then you do the E string pull-offs again. And play the open D. And then D string second fret. Pull off, and again, pull off. So the second bar of the, of the verse is... So far we've got open E, pull off 4, 2, open on the D, and then play the open D again, G, E, D, G, and then you do E, do the pull offs again, 2, open, 2, open, and then the third bar is the same as the first, so you get, okay, so you've got Then you've got so holding down the second fret of the A string, uh, and all the rest are open. That's all you have to do. Hold that one down. Play A D G A high E D string, and then just a just a little strum. One and two and three and four A D G A high E D strum and then you go and you play the 4th fret on the A string and the 2nd fret on the D string so 3rd finger, 1st finger and you do exactly the same thing with the right hand so you play A, D, G, A high E, D strum so that part round and round and round. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this video here because I don't want it to be really long and to make your learning process on the website as easy as possible I'm going to divide this video into two. So if you're watching this on YouTube down in the description there's the link right at the top that's going to take you to the second lesson. So I'll see you over there. 
Okay, so that's it for today's lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, leave me a comment on what you thought of the lesson and subscribe for more. And don't forget to head over to sixstreamfingerpicking.com for a load more finger style and songwriting guitar lessons. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.